Okay, we have one can drain from the bottom and one that's already been open. We also have some grit 80 sandpaper. And finally a spray bottle and a plastic tray with paper towels to keep the mess to a minimum. Place the sandpaper face up in the center of the tray. Use the spray bottle to wet it slightly as shown. Now place the first can top down on the center of the sandpaper, rotate in a circular motion until you start to see metal residue in the water. It should take no more than 5 minutes before the top comes loose. Let's watch and see how this works. Occasionally check the can top to see if the groove is forming. If not, wet the sandpaper with your spray bottle and resume sanding. After a couple of minutes check your progress. You will be looking for a groove starting to form on the lid surface which means it's getting closer to separating. Wet the sandpaper again and resume sanding face down, at this point we should be just over halfway there. After a couple of minutes, check to see if the groove has formed on the lid. If it has, gently pull on the lid. It should just pop right off like this can did. Set the can aside and move on to the one with the sealed top. 
Repeat the same process you used to remove the lid on the last one. Keep checking for that same groove to form on the surface of the lid. Wet the sandpaper and resume sanding. Occasionally check the can top to see if the groove is forming. If not, wet the sandpaper with your spray bottle and resume sanding. Once you see that groove, pull gently on the pull tab. Again, the lid should just come right off. Use damp paper towels to wipe any metal residue off of the lid. Check the lid for any rough edges, normally there won't be any. Now wipe the first can clean with damp paper towels. Check the can top for any rough edges, again, there shouldn't be any, if there is you can use grit 120 sandpaper to remove them. Finally take your unopened lid and fit it on top of the first can, if it's a standard 12 ounce can it should fit without any issues. And that's how to remove the top of aluminum beer or soda cans without cutting, using any tools or leaving sharp edges. While we don't use this technique here at Soda Can Models, we thought some of you can crafters out there might find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.